All right, good morning, y'all. We gotta go get some bait. We're gonna go uh, try to catch some catfish. Um, but I've had trouble catching bait this morning. I stopped at two spots on the way here. But uh, this is where I got bait last time. And I saw four squirrels and two deer on the way here. I almost changed my mind and went home and got a gun and went squirrel hunting. I'm gonna rifle hunt a little bit this year for some deer, so. We might, we might do a deer hunting video. I've thought about mixing it up a little bit. I did name the channel Outdoors rather than Fishing just for that stuff. I've just never really... I don't hunt as much as I used to. But Y'all can let me know what y'all think about a few hunting videos. Not a lot. But who knows what I'll get into in the future. I... Uh, I just really like to fish but uh anyway here is where i ended up getting bait last time a lot of little shad out there that's not really what i'm after but all right let's get our net ready and see if we can uh, gather us up some bait all right now there's a tin horn. It's like a tin horn or a culvert that goes underneath this road here. It's kind of like a choke point. And it's a good place. Choke points like that are good spots to target shad. And uh, this is one of the better spots. This is also a good spot. I've got a couple of crappie fishing videos that I've done right here. Uh, bank fishing for crappie. But, we're probably going to catch a whole bunch of little ones and I'm just going to sort through them and uh, keep what I think I need. Uh-oh, about slipped. Oh my goodness, did y'all see all them shad nets full of a bunch of little ones. We're going to try to sort out what we want and get them back in the water quick as possible. But I want the big ones. They're falling out. Okay. All right, well, I got as many of those small shad back as quick as I could. I didn't want to just dump my net because I had big shad in there. So I dumped them in the bucket, cleaned out my net, and then just started picking small ones out and throwing them back. But uh, you got to do it quick because they don't live long once they get out of the water. But um, anyway, here's what I ended up with. There's some good ones in there. And uh, still a few smaller ones. We'll use up every bit that we can. And uh, you never know. Might run into someone at the fishing hole who needs some bait. So anyway, let's go see if we can catch catfish. All right, y'all. I got me some baits cut up. Just knocked the tails off of some. I uh, running a couple different sizes of hooks. Bite's not been super aggressive, so I downsize my hooks to a four aught. I usually run about a eight aught, like this one, but I've got an eight aught on a couple, just so I can keep a couple bigger baits out there. I mean, those ain't huge baits, but it's a lot bigger than what I put on that little four aught. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I already got this one out there. I want to spread them out pretty good. It's an old creek channel out there. I was here last time, but I was fishing down on the other end of these uh, little rock area here. But I catch fish all up and down. That just they might be one spot one day, another spot another. But a lot of bait fish out there. There we go. Yeah, it's deep. It's going to be real windy today. It's the uh, last day of October. And it's going to be warm. It's going to be close to 90 degrees. That's crazy. But it's been like that. It's been a really hot October. But uh, not really any humidity. So it hasn't been terrible. But it's kind of nice to still be in shorts and a t-shirt. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I got these two in i want to get the other two in probably going to put out six rods i'm going to stick two down here in the shallow and uh, see how those do down there but 
All right, let's get this bait in the water. Get that lawn chair out. All right, <clears throat> all baits are in the water. Got six rods, gonna sit here and relax and hopefully, hopefully catch some fish to take home. I wouldn't mind catching a big one, you know. I'm not a big fish chaser, but it is fall and fall is a good time to catch big fish. <clears throat> they like to uh, feed up before winter, before they go hide in their deep holes. And uh, like I say, I don't catch a lot of big fish. But when I have, most of the time it seems like it's in the fall. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> time to get that lawn chair and coffee cup. Well, all right, shallow water may be the trick one hit this but I was uh well I was over there peeing <laughs> um he might have hooked himself let's get this bail off because he was really uh, working this rod over he might just be out there hooked right now yeah you yeah let's see this one was laying up in the shallow water almost on top of this ledge there well it may have been on top of that ledge yeah we got a fish, y'all. Oh, he might have us hung up <laughs> in the rocks already. See, that's that's the downfall for me of fishing on this end is I get hung up a lot more. Well, shoot. Yeah, that don't feel like it's gonna come out for me so we're gonna set this bag in the rod holder and yeah fish is still on there he's pulling too maybe he'll pull it out but yeah we're gonna set this back in the rod holder and see if he can pull it out we'll give him a few minutes a lot of times that'll work out for you like that He might have already. No. Okay, there he is. Well, as soon as I set it down on the rod holder, I saw my line take off. He pulled us out. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that didn't take long. For the first fish. Man, I always say it. Uh, I should bring me a, a rod with the fishing lure, and a lot of times I do. There's sand bass tearing the water up out here after this shed. They were also where I caught bait this morning. I got us a little flathead. He is laid up in them rocks. <laughs> Looks like supper, don't it? Woo hoo! <laughs> yeah. All right, shoot ya. Yeah. little cutie I don't know we might let this guy go I don't know they're awfully good eating I just like them a little bit bigger than that before I clean them because they're mostly belly really when you after you fillet one and clean it I feel like a lot of your meat comes off of this belly part but look at him pretty little fish yeah, we'll just let this guy go, y'all. 
I like for them the flatheads to be a little bigger than that before I clean them. A little easy them out here and watch him swim off. They sure are pretty fish. All right. There you go. Have a fit now. Go on there. <laughs> He'll figure it out. All right, y'all. Yeah, buddy. That didn't take long. That wasn't, that wasn't out there three minutes. I got my bait in the water. Went over here by the truck to relieve myself. <laughs> and I heard my bell going off. And, uh, yeah, I like my flatheads to be a little bit bigger before I mess with cleaning them. I don't know. That's just me. Five pounds or more. But uh, we used to have a size limit on them anyway. I don't know if we still do. I probably need to check, huh? But <laughs> anyhow, yeah, maybe three minutes. Hopefully that's a good sign. We'll see. do that again i double dog dare you take it down get it well come on that slack line mm-hmm coming this way i reckon yep caught up to him now what you gonna do slack it some more it might be on there. It might have hooked itself. Let's reel down and see. Yep. We got him. Yeah, buddy. You know, when I was here a few days ago, when I was fishing on that end, most of my fish came out, came from out around that red buoy right there. That's where this one come from. And I missed one over here earlier, so. I might direct another one over this way. Sounds like a plan. I've also caught a fish down there on the shallow end. And I lost another one at the bank. I don't know if I'll show it, so. And down there's uh, been all right too. There you are. You snack. But I've had a lot of nibbles. I think uh, there's a lot of these guys in smaller out there. But I'll take a whole bunch of these guys. Bunch of them. Alrighty. Well, here's this guy. Number one eater. Alright, I'm going to put him on the stringer. Alrighty. Well, I just checked the bait on. Oh, that rod just went down. Or, well, and there's another slack line. Since I've walked over here, things have happened back there behind me. But I come over here to check this one. And then looky here, this is slack. I come over here to. Now I'm under the edge of that rock. Do I have a fish on here? Something's going on. I think I got a fish. Felt like I'm feels like I'm wrapped or my line's under something. Yeah, something's going on here. Let's take this bell off. Think about these rocks. You really get hung up over here a lot. Yeah, I'm definitely under a rock. This is a 
So I'm just gonna put it in the rod holder like I did this morning. And uh, see if it'll pull me out. Yeah. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna go check some of these other ones that were wiggling and waggling. I'm just gonna leave that somewhat slacked. All right, I think this guy finally got himself untangled. Finally. It's been sitting there about 15 minutes. Oh, it happened again. I'm moving out of these rocks. Right there at the bank, again, waiting the rock. Let's give him some slack. There he comes. All right, shoot ya. I don't know if I'll move them out of these rocks or not. <laughs> Ooh, come here, fish. All right, there he is, check him out. Heck yeah, let's go put him on the stringer. There he goes. Get it. Oh, we got him. You know, the other day when I was over here, fish didn't really start biting until Oh, heck, 10 o'clock maybe. It wasn't like a first thing in the morning bite. I noticed that a lot. That's why I don't like to move around a lot sometimes. And anyway, I don't think it's that late yet. <laughs> Probably about 9 o'clock. They seem to be out here in this same little area. I think I'm going to move those little rods over here and get them out. They won't cast as far as these, but I don't know that it'll matter. Take me home some groceries. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got another one for the stringer. This is three on the stringer. I've caught four fish. Let that little flathead go, but all right. Fish number four, three for the stringer. Heck yeah. All right, I'm repositioning down the shoreline here a little ways. I was catching fish down there, but uh, most of them were coming from down this way. Plus down there, I kept getting hung up. I had to re-rig about four times this morning. And uh, that's just too much for me. So I uh, just stepped down the shoreline a little ways and I'm uh, gonna get these rods spread out. I got one more to put out and we'll be in. So let's get us a couple more maybe. Oh, he let go by the time I got here. He might have hooked himself, y'all. What do y'all think? Lines in it slack. I bet he did. Yeah, slack line. Yeah, he's on there. 
got him. Oh, yeah. Well, after my little move over here, which it's kind of that time of day for the bike to slow down, or well, when it normally slows down for me, that is. It's about almost noon. I know I was slowing down. I'm over there about to doze off. <laughs> oh. Come on up here. Catfish. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Get on up here. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Pretty, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right, we're going to add him to the stringer. All right, y'all. Well, I'm back at the house. My uh, fishing spot got a little crowded on me this morning, so I kind of eased out of there. But anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video. If so, hit that thumbs up button for me. Y'all want to see more, hit subscribe. Thank y'all.